Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode. So today, so today, we have Solo Skiff versus Kayak part, I don't know, three or four. All right, all right, before you roll your eyes and you click off the video, let me tell you what makes this different. So basically, yeah, I got the kayak as you see right here. I got my homeboy right here, off day therapy. So what makes this different is he actually got his kayak rigged. Rigged to go head to head against the old town trolling motor because he doesn't have his outboard anymore. He actually has a trolling motor mounted on the rear transom and uh, he thinks we are in an even keel now because we're going to be going about the same speed. What do you think, man? I actually still have my outboard. Um, I decided to make my kayak, I mean my solo skip kayak friendly. So what does that mean, kayak friendly? Kayak friendly, you know, even though I got a solo skip, I didn't lose my kayak friends. So, you know, just to hang out and fish with a friend on a kayak, I slowed my solo skip down a little bit. <laughs> whatever the case that may be, or whatever that means. Um, anyways, you guys know, this is going to be another challenge. Me versus him. As you guys know, I am undefeated. Is it? Is this today the day that my boy Marcus finally beats me? <laughs> because he has a new trolling motor. He was, he was texting me saying he was, man, he was bragging. Man, I gotta show you my text messages. Maybe that'll be another video another time, but he's bragging that his solo skip is superior with the new trolling motor, but we'll see what happens. So basically, yeah, we're gonna challenge, see who catches the most fish, right? You good with that? Sure. Who catches the most fish? We're, we're gonna be using the same lure. So if I use a paddle tail, he has to use a paddle tail. If I use a bugs, he has to use a bugs. If I use a top water, he has to use top water. We're gonna be, we're gonna be, no, we're gonna be fishing the same exact area because this is a challenge. This is a challenge that my boy Marcus says his solo skip is better than kayak, and I proved him wrong two times already. It's about to be number three, but you know we'll see what happens, man. So let's get out in the water. All right, beautiful, beautiful morning. The, the wind should be laying low. I think we're gonna be seeing some trout right now because that's that's what's really been working is the trout with all this bait, the shrimp migration, all that good stuff. So right now we're gonna start off with a top water. It's like a wake bait right here. Let's see if we can catch a fish on this, like a trout first thing in the morning. There we go. I got thumped. Got thumped by a little fish there right at this drain right here. Maybe it was a mullet, I'm not sure, but it was a nice little thumb. Small, if anything, maybe a small trout. See, I think that's trout right there blowing up. There we go, first fish, trout. Yep, that's a trout, a little trout. That's what I thought we were gonna be catching, man. Nice, oh, he's actually a keeper. Nice, here we go, baby. <laughs> first fish already on the, tr on on the wake bait, these things are so deadly. It's like a search and destroy type bait. Look at that. Oh, it's not a keeper. I thought he was. Probably about 12 inches. Another another trout. Oh. Yeah, they're in full force, man. Lots of trout out here. I can totally tell with all the mola being skittish and the and the blow-ups. They're not big, big blow-ups, but they are blow-ups, and to me that's trout from my experience and knowledge. There could be a big old red in here too. You never know. There we go. That's a good fish. Wow, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Dang, he just took off. Oh man, he's pulling some drag. My God, on the wake bait. Can you believe that? <laughs> Let's get the net ready. Dang, he, dang, he hammered that bait. Oh my God, this is a freaking monster. He's gonna be a good fish. It might be a trout, a big trout. Oh gosh, he got some good bottom in on him. He's pulling that drag too. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a red. That's what I thought. 
he's going to be a keeper red slot slot redfish nice nice wow that was fast i just started <laughs> dang good fish man good fish get in here buddy look at that bud that's what i'm talking about man all right ladies and gentlemen look at that first fish in the morning on the top water he's bleeding a little bit let's hurry up and let him go i imagine he's probably about 22 incher he destroyed that top water it's deep in there i gotta do some surgery all right folks we are back in the game i was able my boy marcus even though i'm ahead with uh, him two fish he's uh he let me he he was gener generous enough to let me borrow his needle nose pliers so i got the fish out he actually swam away strong i don't see him belly up so he's good he's really good so let's see if we can catch another fish out this wake bait is working top water top water hey look birds working right over there that's probably a school of trout right there oh man i didn't record it golly nick you're such an idiot when it comes to gopros you're like a freaking illiterate <laughs> i caught another trout totally missed them or meaning that i didn't catch them on gopro but oh well let's see if we can get another one there was wake there was bait waking up here something big was waking and that trout came and thumped my wake bait and uh, it might be another red, I don't know. We're gonna keep on fan casting this area right here. I see some bait activity, lots of bait activity. There we go, another fish. That's another trout. That's gonna be a little better trout. And they are loving this, no, it's a red. Yeah, he might be, I don't know. He, no, I don't think he's sly. He's probably gonna be barely, like maybe 18, maybe 19 inches, but still, nice fish. Uh, this this might have been the dude that I saw waking up. Look at that. I'll take it, boy. I'll take it. All right, we got to be careful with these trebles. These trebles are trouble. <laughs> there you go. That's another another nice red. He might be like a 19 and a half, close to 20. Man, that's that's pushing it. But uh, yeah, this is number four of the day already. All on the wake bait. Dang, boy. Marcus said he just got broke off. That's part of the competition, man. You gotta make sure your knots are tied. Everything is good. Bro, I just tied that knot last night. You just tied it last last night. I guess he was half asleep or something. What was that your top water? No. Man, you moving on different lures yeah. without letting me know, man. That's man, you cheating, dude. Come on, bro. That's that's messed up, dude. I already told you, man. We're gonna be using top water. That's not top water. Man, no hate, man. Can't believe it, dude. I thought you were using like a traditional top. Water. Can't believe it. Look at all those birds working, man. There's dolphin there too. They were. Lots of dolphins. It's just a lot of bait activity, man, which is good. A lot of high water. Man, I guess I should just use this wake bait while well, you can use any bait you want. I guess it makes it even. Playing field. <laughs> Mark is not too happy, folks. He's not too happy. Shrimp popping right there. God, that was something. That had to have been a trout. Some nice big shrimp jumping, like big shrimp. There we go. That's a little trout. That might have been the one that's chasing that shrimp. Oh, he's a keeper. This one is for sure a keeper. Nice. All right. And one keeper red, one keeper trout. Bunch of other trout. Oh, yeah. That's a good trout right there. Perfect eating size. I was going to take trout home. Look at that. And he's pooping his pants, man. Look at that yellow poop. All right, my friend. Beautiful keeper trout right there. There we go. That's another fish. I think another trout. Saw some shrimp blow up there. He has a little bit of weight on it. Just the way he's pulling. Head shakes. He's got some drag. <laughs> That's got some drag. He might be a slot red actually. <laughs> Take that back. How much drag he's pulling. Oh dang. He let go. That was a good. That had not been a red dude. That had not been a red. Dang it. Missed him. Oh well. <laughs> There we go. Saw a blow up right there. Yeah, there we go. That's a red. That's gonna be a good red. He's pulling. Yeah, he's pulling some drag. That's gonna be a keeper red. <clears throat> oh, that's a nice. Oh, god dang it, man. Second time I lost him. God dang it. That absolutely sucked. God, that was a good redfish, too. Man, it's the treble hooks are just not penetrating hard enough, even though they're pretty sharp. I don't know, man. I can't explain it. it. Sucks, but it is what it is. So I lost two big reds here already. 
<laughs> I need to check my hooks. Maybe my hooks are bent out. Well, they are okay. Huh. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Well, it is what it is. Let's see if we can get another one. There we go. Okay, he's gonna be a keeper trout. Nice. That's two keeper trout already for today. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Whoo, man, these treble hooks. God, they scare me. Look at that, guys. Oh, another keeper trout right there. Look, look, he's eating that shrimp. Look at that, look at that shrimp. That's what they're gorging themselves on. Shrimp, shrimp, and more shrimp. <laughs> All right, Marcus. Tell me about your sp superior platform. Well, What'd you do differently now? With a uh, 60 amp hour amp battery that I got from Amp Outdoors. So that's what I'm using today. That way, you know, I still um, I still have kayak friends that I fish with. So I decided to fish with you today, and I'm using that slow setup because you slow. All right. So how many fish have you caught already? I caught about nine or ten. Um, one undersized red, and when the birds came. About eight keeper trout under the birds. So. so you're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, man. Considering I was struggling with the setup at first. You're kicking. Get it situated. Your little trolling motor is kicking my butt now. <laughs> nah. We'll catch up. I'm using a wake bait though. What are you using? This right here, baby. Oh, the skelly swim. Look at that. No, it's not. Whatever, dude. It looks like a skelly. It's because you can't afford a skelly. It's only skelly's only three bucks. So do you think the solo you think the solo skiff is still superior to the kayak? Um, it has its advantages. Mostly, yes. <laughs> it's because you you don't own a kayak. You own a solo skiff. That's why. No, I, man, I used to own a Hobie. I still love Hobies. Man. But I still think it's superior. I think the key thing about a kayak it teaches you patience because you can't just hop up and leave. That's my two cents. So if you were, if, if, a, if a person was interested between a solo skiff and a kayak, they only, they only could afford one, what would you recommend? A solo skiff. And why? Because you can run it like this and still fish just fine. Okay. I caught nine fish today just like this. But you were in like two, almost three feet of water. What if it happened you get six inches? I'm in a foot and a half right here. Yep, okay, but still. Like my kayak can get six inches and still use a trolling motor. Then I'll start pulling. I can still use my trolling motor on this kayak, That's six good. inches. I mean, but if you think about like, um, let's say like the uh, native kayaks with the pedal drive system, right? They really can't get that shallow as the trolling motor. Yeah, my motor is uh, lagging. Got a lot of grass here. Oh man, look at that. The mighty autopilot. Man, shut up. There we go. Oh yeah, she's running out really good. Oh, I'm an idiot guys. Once again, not recording it. Cast it right here because I saw some bait blow up. I got hooked up with this guy. He is going to be a keeper red, I believe. Let's see if we can get him. I pulled my motor up and uh, my rudder so we don't break off. We are using ultralight crappie rig fishing <laughs> to catch these dudes dang he's got some fight on him gotta be careful man gotta be careful eight pound fluorocarbon leader 9.7 pound braid from varvas on an ultralight daiwa steez air yeah that's a donkey <laughs> that's a nice fish yeah they fight love it man love it Whoo! here we go come on Come on in here, partner. I got you, you're done. You're not done. There we go, we got you. That's a nice redfish, man, on ultra light. Very fun stuff to catch. Goodness gracious, I love it. Man, you know what, I get, I get asked the question a lot, why do I fish with ultra light setups? Because I love the fight, man. Look at that, small little 1 8 ounce, 1 8 ounce bugs flats bug, eight pound fluorocarbon leader, my braid line is so thin, you can't even see it. <laughs> On a super ultra light setup, just like this, catching big fish like that, just pull drag. It tests your skills, 
uh, whether you can use a drag system, whether you can be patient, work the fish, get them in correctly without breaking your line. That's what fishing is all about, my friends. And that's why I love fishing with ultralight stuff and catching big fish like this. Beautiful, man. I love it. Love it. Keep crushing that shrimp, man. There it goes. Beautiful. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, two keeper reds. Could have had total four, honestly, because I lost them early. So I'm stupid. Uh, two or three keeper try, I can't remember. But you know, I'm, I'm done for today. I have some errands to run. I'm gonna turn back around. Let's see exactly how Marcus did. Marcus, for the crowd, how many fish did you catch? Keeper fish, let's count keeper fish. We caught keeper, a lot of things. I'll say I caught at least a limit of trout. Um, I didn't count them all, but for sure a limit of trout. Okay. I just caught a keeper black drum. Black drum? Just wow, really? That's crazy. And I just caught a keeper red that got tangled on my trolling motor. So <laughs> I'll, I'll say seven keeper fish. Seven keeper fish, very good, man. I caught, I wanna say three keeper trout and two keeper reds. So what, five fish. I lost, man, I lost. My yeah. boy, my boy got me. You know, that, that's not saying the solo skip is superior, but uh, he got me today, man. I mean, it happens. He, 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 he tore it up. He had the best idea where he was sitting under the birds, just working it. Honestly, if I did that, it'd probably be an even game, right? Let's be honest. If I did that. No, man. No, no man. You, you went under the birds for a second. You weren't hooking up like me, man. Man, whatever, dude. Anyways, man, that's going to be it, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment if you want to see more of these uh, kayak versus solo skip adventures with my boy here. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you so much. Any last words, bro? No, man. You won. You feel good, don't you? A little bit. You owe me a pair of Jordans still. Man, you're crazy. <laughs> All right, man. I'll catch you on the next one.